In this video, I will explain why infinity plus infinity equal to infinity but infinity minus infinity is indeterminate. I will consider the examples of sets to illustrate this. See here, I have considered the set of all natural numbers which is infinite. From this set, I will subtract the set containing 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. This set is also infinite. So, the difference between these two sets is equal to set containing 1. That is infinity minus infinity. This set is infinite. This is also infinite. So, infinity minus infinity. Here it is giving set containing 1 in this example. Similarly, this is set of all natural numbers. From this set, I will subtract the set containing 1, 3, 4, 5 and so on. So, here the answer is set containing 2. So, here infinity minus infinity equal to set containing 2. 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on set of all natural numbers. So from this set, I will subtract the set of all odd natural numbers. So, that gives you set of all even natural numbers. So, in this case, infinity minus infinity equal to the set is infinite. But if you subtract an infinite set, from another infinite set, sometimes the sets are finite, sometimes the set, uh, sets are infinite. If the sets are finite, in that case also we don't get the unique answer. It differs from example to example. There is no unique answer to generalize. Hence, we write indeterminate because there is no particular value. In case of infinity plus infinity, consider the set of all natural numbers. Plus means I will take union, the operation union because I have considered the set to which I will add the set of all negative integers. Then you will get a set plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3. This is an infinite set. So infinity plus infinity gives you infinity. Now you can consider one more example where 2, 4, 6 set of all even natural numbers set of all odd natural numbers now these two when combined you will get the set of all natural numbers that is an infinite set so in this case infinity plus infinity equal to infinity therefore if you consider any other example involving infinite set when you combine two infinite sets you will get an infinite set 